Hi guys, Legible 101 here once again, bring you another reaction video. It's to my friend Jody of Jody's Corner. Um, everyone knows now George Floyd got murdered by the police. <sighs> it's all over the news, haven't heard it then. Go check it out. But um, I'm just reacting to uh, Jody, um, his um, take on the systematic murder of George Floyd. So, yep. Yeah to uh, follow me in the usual places Twitter, Facebook, Instagram follow the video so everyone can see this video so everyone can see what's going on in the world you know what I'm saying what's going on to people uh, it's crazy it's, it's crazy right now um, subscribe to the channel press the notification bell put your comments in the comment section down below and what you guys think about this issue because it's not a good thing that's going on in, in the world today not the flipping coronavirus now this they're still doing this garbage saw the images this morning my mum told me I was like what is this about I didn't even know it even happened until my mum told me about it this morning so I was like it's crazy she called me I was like oh damn but um yeah let's just check this out that's what my boy Jody has to say it was I'm seeing Jody's channel go like share subscribe subscribe to the channel Jody's Corner let's check it out it's half an hour video so stay with me guys Serious issue. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I seen this uh, video uh, yesterday, and um, I seen it a couple of times. Shared it with people. Uh, we're gonna talk about George Floyd and the huge impact that he has had in the last few days since his uh, since his murder since he was murdered by uh, four police officers. I say four police officers and not one, not two, because he was systematically uh, uh, ignored by systematic racism. It was a systematic failure because uh, all the officers that stood by and watched him die and get murdered by one officer, they're just as guilty as the officer that had his knee in his neck. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. So um, Floyd... George Floyd was pulled over on a call that they received from a convenience store that a fake counterfeit bill was being used to try to purchase something. Police ride up to the actual car, pull Floyd and his couple of passengers out. <clears throat> uh, the passengers were taken out of the car and placed to the side. They pulled George Floyd out and then proceeded to handcuff cuff him and arrest him. Uh, the video that we saw, this one here that I'm going to show you, this video that we saw was the aftermath of his actual arrest. But there is, uh, I'm going to do a breakdown of how he got pulled over with the new release body cam footage. Then what happened that we all see that made the whole entire country in enraged mode. Then I'm going to talk about the actual aftermath of what happened after the scenario. So uh, we could look at the body cam footage here. This is actual, um, not body cam footage, this is the storefront footage of exactly when he was uh, pulled over. So let's go ahead and take a look at this shoe here. Uh, we can see that the officers are there, top right corner, pulling him over. He's in that Mercedes GL, I think it's a GL320. It might be an ML, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the officer that you're seeing at the top right corner, the bald head officer, that's the passenger that's in the car. Uh, George Floyd is the driver. So then this is good uh, quality footage too. So you can see it's that clean. at this point, there's going to be a tussle or he or he's not going to want to be uh, handcuffed because he's being harassed. Uh, he's being asked to get out of the car. And then his, his partner sees uh, something going on over there. He rushes over there, but everything's fine. He ain't fighting the officers. He's not fighting them. He has them under control. There's already a, a handcuff on his arm as from based on what we see here. And then you're going to see they're going to get him under control. The, the partner then leaves because he sees that his partner has everything under control. He has him cuffed. Then he proceeds to walk him over. George Floyd is, is, is visibly upset because he feels like he is being 
uh, victimized. He's sitting down on the sidewalk, handcuffed. Another officer pulls up. That's the little short midget one who thinks he's a freaking tough guy. The little short Asian dude who was, who was bullied in school and now wants to beat the crap out of black people. That's him right there. And then they're going to sit here for a while. And they're going to take statements. And this is... That's it. They're going to walk him over. Because that's what they did to get him up. This is sad. You see, this is the last time you probably will see him alive and talking. They move him right into the path of the actual camera. And look, he's, mm. he's like, why are you, what is all this? Why am I arrested? He's, and he's like, you know, he's in pain. He's already, like, maybe the cuffs are too tight. I don't know. It's one of the last times we'll see him on his, it's probably the last time you will see him on his feet. That right there gave some insight on uh, just exactly what happened leading up to the actual you know the actual moment that we're about to see now that everybody else probably has seen and that's this here he says i can't breathe my back hurts my neck hurts everything hurts he said they're about to kill me he even said it they're about to kill me i'm about to die it's tough it's tough this video is tough seeing this is just like oh my gosh it's Listen to what a passerby, listen to what an onlooker is saying. Listen very closely to what someone just said as they walk by. He said, That's why you don't do drugs, kids. A passerby, a citizen, who obviously wasn't black, witnesses this cop with his knee in this man's neck while he screams, I can't breathe. They're going to kill me. And he says, D this is why you don't do drugs. Shame on that man. Drugs, bro. You don't understand that. you don't got to put time in. Man, bro. Right. Uh, he is human, bro. Uh, He's getting no one's Put him in the car. Uh, That's a bum ass that shit. For 10 minutes. That's a bum ass shit, bro. Uh, That's a bum ass shit, bro. Uh, uh, bro. Uh, uh, Y'all know that. Uh, oh. That was the officer that said that. That was a little dwarf officer. That was Tyrion Lannister that said that. He said we tried that for ten minutes. Y'all know that. He hung out there with your knee on his neck, bro. Bro, he ain't crying, bro. You you circle like in a jiu-jitsu move, bro. You try you trapped in his breathing right there, bro. Him. He's the one that said this is why you don't do drugs, kids. This little piece of shit right here. This dude. Not only is the poor black man, whatever it is, he could have been on meth for all I care. That doesn't matter. He's a human being and they're breaking the code of ethics. They're training. They're breaking it all. They're breaking the mm. law. They're going against everything they were trained to do in a situation like this because they're personally upset and they're personally biased and they're personally racist because I guarantee you if this man was white, he would have already been, you know what? I would have said already been in the car and gone to jail. If he was white, they probably wouldn't even have pulled him over and pulled him out of the car. Nah, they probably nah, would have been going on his way. Wouldn't be spending that. Yeah, there you go, sir. Like, you don't think that what it is, bro? You don't think nobody understands that shit right there, bro? I train at the academy, bro. That's some bullshit, bro. Right. That's what I bullshit. Right. That's bullshit, bro. 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 Right. Bro, but you could get him off the ground. You've been a bum right now. You could get him off the ground, bro. You could get him off the ground. You've been a bum right now. He enjoying that. 
He enjoying that shit. He enjoying that shit. He a fucking bum, bro. I'm looking at him. Look down on him like that. Watching the life leave his body. Watching him struggle. He enjoying that shit right now, bro. You could have fucking put him in the car by now, bro. He's not resisting arrest or nothing. You enjoying it. Look at you. Your body language explains it. You're fucking bum. Bro, get the fuck off of here. Get the life. But, no, I already know that, bro. I train with half of these dumbass dudes at the academy, bro. The guy said, like, I train with all these people at the academy. He's like, he even knows it. Like, these white people. Oh, my God. This guy, yo, he's, he's, he's even got a person from the academy watching them do this. What are you teaching these people at the academy? <sighs> you know that's bogus right now, bro. You know it's bogus. You can't even look at me like a man because you a bum, bro. He's not even resisting arrest right now, bro. His nose is bleeding. You fucking stopping his breathing right now, bro. You think that's cool? That's cool. You think that's, that's cool, really though, not. right? What's your, what's your, what's your, oh, man, what's your badge number, bro? You think that's cool right now, bro? You think that's cool, though, bro? You're a bum, bro. You're, you're a bum for that. You're a bum for that, bro. At this point, he's no longer moving. Very minimal movement. He's fading. The officer can see that he isn't resisting because he's losing life out of his body. The officer can see it. He can feel it. We all can see it. At this point, he's starting to die. You can't, you get mad. You're just sitting there stopping his breathing right Look now. Look at him. 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 They're pleading with him to check his pulse, see if he's breathing, he's unresponsive, he's not moving. This is breaks my freaking heart, bro. Look, this shit is sad, man. This is scarier than a motherfucker, bro. This guy's knee's still on his neck. This guy's out. This guy is legit out. Check his pulse. Check his pulse, Tao. Tao, check his pulse. Tao, check his pulse, bro. Bro, check his pulse, bro. You bogus, bro. You bogus. Don't be. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking at here is at this moment in this shot, we're looking at an officer with his hands in his pockets in a, in a, in a, a stance of superior authority. This shot reminds me of just slavery reimagined in 2020. We're looking at a white police officer with his hands in his pocket looking down on a black man who is dead. He is sitting on a dead body right now that he killed. Drunk, bro. What is that? What do you think? At this point, he's gone. Everything after this moment that we're looking at is him passed away. That is. You saw your call. What he doing? Okay. Get back. You call. What he doing? Okay. You call. You call. What you doing? You call. What he doing? Okay, bro. Firefighters. Bro. Okay, bro. You 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 call. You think that's okay? Check his pulse. Check his right. Go. Check his pulse. Get back in the check. The man ain't moved yet, bro. The man ain't moved yet, bro. Where, where? Okay. Bro, you're a bum, bro. You're a bum, bro. You're Check definitely a bum, right bro. Tell me what his pulse is right now. Check the pulse. Bro, he has not moved, not one he's time. He's off, off track or not? He's but yeah, bro, go back in the store, bro. You don't understand, no, no, bro. I'm the runner. Okay, that's cool. Go back in the store, bro. Go back in the store. The reason why the police came, that's the man talking. He's off crack right now. That's what the, that's what the owner of the store is saying right now. Bro. He's not fucking I see that. I see that. Bro, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm trying to help y'all out. Bro, you don't need... Uh, you see this water coming from the, the area? 
when I first saw it, I instantly told myself, he pissed himself. This, this wasn't there before. Let me see. It looks like to me like he pissed himself. No! Okay, bro, you not fucking. It looks like he pissed himself. That's what it looks like. This trail leading up to it look, looks like his middle, middle torso. It looks like he pissed himself. That's what I'm in my head thinking. Oh my god, he just pissed himself. Because all this shit going on. All those officers pressure. You saw a different angle. There At one point, there were three to four officers on his body right there. All that pressure forced and the drama and the trauma traumatization pushed the piss out of him. He was scared. You know, people say that I was so scared I pissed myself. All that too. He moved it. No, did they fucking kill him, bro? Bro, bro, did they bro. Kill him with you 1087, bro? You're a oh bum, bro. 987, bro, you're a bum. First thing you want to grab is your mates because you scared, bro. Scared of fucking minorities, you're fucking bum, bro. Like, bro, three minutes, bro. He's not fucking moving. Bro, he's not even fucking moving. Get off of his fucking neck, bro. Get off of his neck. Bro, look at that girl straight. Are you serious? Bro, are you serious? And you're gonna keep her. You're gonna keep. The EMTs, the medical te technicians arrive, and the cop is still on his neck. The cop wants to make sure he's dead. That's how I feel. There's no other explanation for this. The cop had in his mind, I'm about to kill this nigga. Hey, 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 yeah, bitch. Bro, we, bro, I'm here to touch me like that, dude. I swear I'm not fuck out of both of y'all. Bro, he's just gonna let him keep his hand on his neck, bro. You're a bitch, bro. Tao, you gonna keep, you gonna let him keep that like that? You gonna let him kill that man in front of you, bro? Huh? Huh? Bro, he's not even fucking moving right now, bro. He's not even fucking moving. Bro, bro. 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 They not gonna help us, bro. Right. He black. They don't care. Even they're bad people, they don't care, bro. You gonna just sit there with your knee on his neck, bro. You a bro. You a bro. You a real man for that, bro. He ain't handsome, bro. Look at him. Just look at him. He's a real man, bro. I try to be a man, bro. The fact that you guys are checking his clothes and doing compression to be these guys, you guys are on and off. Oh my God. Okay. They didn't even okay. They didn't drag him. Like, yeah. yeah. I have your name tag, bitch. It's not your profession. It don't matter. Someone freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, folks. Back up. They're carrying a lifeless body peeled off the street who was just alive 10 minutes earlier. Alive and well, family who loved him, mother who loved him. And he's gone. Cause the police man i was just having a conversation we were just having a conversation in the judge's corner family about racism i don't think stuff like this has ever happened in canada like the black man in america is the definition of modern day slavery this man is dead today This man, George Floyd, is dead today because his skin was black. That's the bottom line. George Floyd was murdered on this day that we witnessed because he was African American. Had he been Asian, had he been white, had he even been Mexican, he would still be alive then after we had that it was a brief a, a huge aftermath 
violence unfolds, city outrage, a complete chaotic situation in Minnesota. officer to let him breathe as the officer pinned him to the pavement with a knee to his neck. The city's mayor city is on fire. people to leave the area and he has reportedly asked the governor to call. The city's mayor uh, came and made that statement that said these officers need to be fired, arrested, and charged for murder. What that mayor said, kudos to him. That's really nice to see that. He, he, he was emotional, he was swift, and he was just in what he said. I would like to, you know, show my appreciation for the mayor of Minnesota of that town. In the National Guard. The Minneapolis mayor also Minneapolis. says he does not. The mayor of Minneapolis. I understand why the police officer responsible for Floyd's death. The police were firing tear gas into open crowds of people. People who were there just to protest. Some people were throwing rocks. Some people were throwing bottles. You're right. That's a huge outrage. It's wrong to do that. I understand why they did it though. But what the police did on top of that, and I'm going back to the systematic failure of the Minneapolis Police Department, protested outside of the police department, and they were firing uh, beanbag plastic wo- uh, uh, bullets, rubber bullets, and tear gas, and, and flash grenades into the open crowd. One man was tending to a teenage girl with a head wound that was just leaking because she was innocent bystander who got hit with it. Innocent people were getting shot at and getting choked out by this gas. Has not been charged. Overnight, police did use tear gas to disperse the crowds. At least one man is dead this morning. The circumstances uh, still under investigation. Police say he was shot and killed outside a pawn shop near the demonstrations. CNN's Omar Hernandez live on the scene. Omar, are you from this building? You see how the police are set up in the middle of the, you see how police are back. But every minute that goes outrage. by without at least an announcement. More outrage across the city. Um, people were running, there were, you know. Were riots, were, protests. No the in. city so is in chaos. chaos. Uh, Fires. People went in and tur- Everything looks bad at this point. Everything is bad because of what they witnessed. And I understand exactly 100% why they're doing this they witnessed systematic racism and I don't know uh, I remember the Eric Gardner situation which was tough too this was wor- this is the worst this was the worst thing that I have seen this was even worse than the Rodney King beatings and I've seen those seen that they beat him it was wrong he lived this man is dead. And the way he died, the way he went out. This is just, and then you add the coronavirus to this, you add the, the, the presidents, uh, you add, and, and, and here's, here, here's, here's something that I wanna, I wanna share my own. Ladies and gentlemen, there are white people with guns, automatic rifles, grenades in their vest, who are occupying capitals of southern states and other states in this country right now with actual weapons out, protesting against police, pushing against police, not one incident. They ain't dead. They got guns. In the same time that George Floyd is getting murdered by the police, There's a whole bunch of white people with guns protesting and occupying government property, baiting the police to do something. And the police are on stand down mode. That is a huge picture right there. Black man dies. White people in the masses, even pushing at cops, forcing themselves against cops, not being even arrested. Hey, you mean to tell me there's no such thing as systematic racism? You mean to tell me that racism in this country isn't prevalent? Isn't a forefront? This is a country that has been built off of slavery. 
off of the blood, sweat, tears, heartache, and chaos that was done to black people. Yes, I believe people as a whole of this country over the last 400 years have gotten better. Yes, but the law, the rules, all of those are very much still intact. The laws were made when slavery existed. Laws were made when slavery was okay. So we need to change them. A target was looted in uh, Minnesota and a white woman in a wheelchair with a five inch blade as was at the exit where people were looting it. Now that's wrong, you shouldn't be looting a target, that's ridiculous. You know, people are upset, but that gives them no right to go in there and loot a store. But I understand why they did it. A white woman in a wheelchair with a five inch blade is waiting for people to exit from stealing from the target and stabbing them. Legitimately, a woman in a wheelchair. In the wheelchair, what the heck? Will. What? Is a white woman in a wheelchair is stabbing the black people as they come out. Mm, mm, mm. All right, at this moment, I'm gonna ask you guys, this is gonna be graphic, this channel is not for kids. And This is chaos, highest level. This is madness. Did you know heart problems are- Oh my God. <laughs> Old woman with a, a blade. Stabbing people coming out of- I don't know if you guys can see that blade. Jennifer, get the I don't know if you guys, it's really tough. Jennifer. Really good shot of it. Get the there it is. There it is. This object right here, a blade. That she is stabbing people with. I'm gonna be honest, man. It's tough seeing that woman even get sprayed like that, get stuff thrown at her like that. Cause she's I've seen an old white woman in a wheelchair, and I feel sorry for her. But she's stabbing people. She is trying to kill people who have done nothing to her. This is a random target, and she went there to stab people as they come out. That instantly just like throws me for a loop. Like I understand exactly why that happened to her. She's trying to kill people. And that just shows exactly exactly how effed up this country is. It shows exactly how messed up things are right now. Seeing her in that position doing that stuff to random people she doesn't know, but only thing that she does know I believe she knows two things while she's doing this, stabbing at people. She knows that they're thieves, thieves slash looters, and she knows that they're black. I honestly believe that is a racist woman right there because only somebody who would stab people and the people who were stabbed are black people. With this situation going on about the cops and George Floyd, she lucky she didn't get killed. She's lucky that there wasn't some normal person there because this is smash and grab moment. This is like smash, grab, get out of there. Oh yeah, the old lady's trying to stab us, but we gotta go for the police come and get us. She's lucky that somebody wasn't there looking, just not, not trying to just looking at, at the woman trying to, and didn't go over there and just choke her to death. Cause I could have seen, there's a lot of people around that area that would have loved to do that in this situation. She's lucky. 
But sadly, George Floyd wasn't so lucky. It feels bad seeing a woman get attacked like that. But man, that's self-defense. That woman got a knife and she's trying to stab people. She lucky she didn't get a freaking test WWF boot to the face. The test. <laughs> I was making that, bro. I was freaking the same thing. The test boot to the face. That test boot was iconic. People underrate that move. A test boot was knockout blow. And make your chair flip back. <laughs> the test. This is uh, something that really hurts my feelings. Need something light in there to just lighten the mood because this George Floyd situation is out of hand. Those cops need to be arrested straight up. Straight up. Life. Give them life. Live as that. Life. All, all four of them. Life. The woman needs to be dealt with too. What the hell is she doing? It, it, and it's, it's this country needs has a lot of growing to do. We are in the end days, ladies and gentlemen. All of the things that have. End times, guys. End, end times. I'll read the Bible. End times been foretold are coming to pass famine death disease unruliness uh leadership country leadership a muck we are in the last days and this is just a sign of the times uh protect yourselves protect your family um don't do anything that could be even perceived as illegal that's what it's like at this moment i'm 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 it's have it's i don't live in fear that's not what i do because i don't fear i don't fear man but the police yeah they're pretty scary they're pretty scary and that's that's what it and a lot of people a lot of white folk probably don't understand maybe they understand after this video systematic racism is real racism against the black man in america is real uh my fellow doubters not just all white people because i know a lot of white people know that it's real <clears throat> but the doubters this video that we've seen today the death of george floyd is a prime example of it's real because it's not just that the cop was guilty here and i'm really want to shed light on that it's not just the cop that had his knee in his neck it's all those officers that were there george floyd is looking for someone to help him and there was four officers that I know of that were there. And neither one of those four officers, even though a couple of officers probably weren't even a, like a little further down, they all got fired because they all should have gotten fired because the police department is supposed to protect citizens, protect property and life. George Floyd was looking for someone to help him. One of those brothers in blue should have told him, bro, that's enough. One of those other cops should have known. I took my vows. I know what the law is. This is unlawful. But they didn't feel like the need to help George Floyd because he was black. The system failed him. The police department failed him. The rules and the law failed him. And that is the risk that we go through every day as minorities, not just black, Hispanics too, they go through it too, but we go through it the most. I got both. Well, they both in my blood, so you know I got double. I'm I'm, I'm double effed up. So it's tough out here, ladies and gentlemen. Protect yourselves. You know, um, this is why we don't like getting pulled over by the police. Every time, the the closest that I come to death is when I see the police lights in my rearview mirror. I live in the hood. I ain't worried about no gang banging, getting shot. I ain't worried about going to a blood or a crip neighborhood. I ain't worried about the going to an 18th Street, MS, whatever, uh, Hispanic Mafia neighborhood. Why? I don't bang. I don't fear them. Whenever I get them, when I see them lights in my rearview mirror and I'm about to get pulled over, that's when I get scared. Because I know if anything goes wrong in this moment, this cop is going to take my life. Rest in peace, George Floyd. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing. Deuces. Alright, here we go. George Floyd situation. Talk come by Jody Joe. Jody's corner. And uh, I've never seen the full video until now. I've seen it. 
my gosh, my gosh, that is insane. Yeah. That is mental. Hey, tell me you guys speak in the comment section down below because there's no words. There's no words, especially what I just saw right there. It's, it's, it's madness. It's crazy. It's pandemonium out there. It's chaos. It's chaos. It's chaos. It's madness. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's my reaction to uh, George Floyd. Uh, video with the cops there's four cops there's four scumbags but yeah i'm done we are reacting to this i'm out everyone there stay safe out here in these streets as i say before especially these times especially with what we just seen what we've heard in the news coronavirus got through the cops oh it's crazy out here old ladies with knives it's it's it's, it's end times as john said before it's end times my mom said it i've said it a million times end times out here it's end times guys everyone watch yourself watch your six you know what i'm saying so let's go on the one signing out guys stay safe peace